man in our image Amen. after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the head and over the cattle and over all the head and over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the head so God created man in his own image in the image of God created he him male created he there and God blessed them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply 
and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the head, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I read verse 20 one more time, the first two months. And God blessed them. Amen. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. God bless you. So please look up a minute. The Bible says, God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Say that after me. Say, be fruitful. Be fruitful. Multiply. 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 Say, I will be fruitful. I will be fruitful. I will multiply. I will multiply. I want to point it out again that that is what God has given to us as an assignment to do. God said, let us make this men. After making them, the Bible says, he blessed them. I see to say, he blessed us. And then after that, he now said, be fruitful. I want to observe close in that scripture that the blessing of the Lord is not automatic fruitfulness. That man is blessed does not mean man is fruitful. Mm. He said he blessed him. Now said be fruitful. Blessing does not mean fruitfulness. Did you get what I just said? Yes, sir. If he blessed them and said be blessed and by being blessed they are fruitful. There will be no need to tell them be fruitful. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, yes, sir. So that separation of blessing from fruitfulness means that the duty of being blessed is not the same duty of being fruitful. Mm. Yes, sir. A man therefore can be blessed but not fruitful. Yes, sir. Do you get that? Yes, sir. So we must not misinterpret mm. the blessing of God. For example, you can have a good idea, maybe a business idea. Maybe a relationship, says. maybe a marriage that is blessed, it does not mean it's fruitful. Because the principle of being fruitful is different from the principle of being blessed. Being blessed means empowered to prosper, empowered to be fruitful, does not mean you are automatically fruitful. It is one of the grievous mischief and mistakes Christians make to themselves. That because they think they have been blessed, they think it is automatic fruitfulness. God gave you an idea. God's idea. It is blessed. Does not mean it is fruitful. Mm. You need to start to know that the principles of being fruitful is different from the principle of being blessed. Is that a good introduction? Yes. Yes. So what are we saying today? That someone might be here who God has blessed. Is that person here? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 God has blessed us. But then the duty of being fruitful is different. Be blessed. He now said be fruitful. What does that mean? That means blessing is not fruitfulness. Did you hear what I yes, yes. Be blessed the glory of God's enablement for a man to do what he was born to do as to to be fruitful. So I want us to look into today, today about finances. I, I didn't say I was going to talk about that. Because I want to talk about money. And before you get angry with me that I'm talking about money, don't be a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. You went to work today so that you can get some money tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> if you hear people that say, sir, I want to see you. <laughs> That's me. Somebody I almost promised you 90%. Mm -hmm. It's money matter. Not all the time. Yes. Not all the time. <laughs> if I'll be... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If we'll be honest, yes, sir. sir, I want to see your gentleman. <laughs> if it's not money, it's emotions. Yes. Then that order money first. Most times money. money. <laughs> <laughs> All that anger, you do not call me that on two ceremonies. Maybe in heaven it's different. They on earth for this earth where we live. The language of men is Malachi. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. You don't enter boss flying to Christ. If <laughs> 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 they were standing and sitting in Moldway, you could even negotiate that after I stood. <laughs> now everybody is still. <laughs> 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 if you were standing, you must be alive. <laughs> <laughs> 
There are some devils that only money can chase. There are some demons that only money can drive out. I'm telling you, Kaya. There are some embarrassments that only money will silence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, do you believe that? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The vibe I expected there was more than this. One. <laughs> 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 So when I say don't let money be your major, I'm not saying you should not have respect for money. <laughs> because that's how you say, Pastor, say, All right. So what I'm saying, in essence, is that we should not put our eyes and depend on money. You yes, know. Sir. Please, do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, I want to discuss this tonight. And there are three things I want to achieve. Let me tell you up front. So that in case I didn't get the target, you can remind me. Up front. Number one, I want to speak about um, evangelism. Praise God. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you why. I'm not, I'm not just trying to sound like an evangelist tonight. That is how the Lord has laid it on my heart. Then number two, I want to speak about finances, personal and corporate. And then number three, I want us to talk about um, what I consider to be spiritual stamina. All right? Spiritual stamina. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I just want to have this talk like a pet talk, sort of. Is that okay? Yes, sir. And it should cover this new range of things. The ultimate intention is to bring all of us to a consciousness of these three issues of evangelism, of personal and corporate finance, its importance and how to get it. And then number three on Stamina, spiritual. I'm talking about spiritual stamina. Please, are you feeling me tonight? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm looking at my lens is different. You are still trying to adjust <laughs> to my new look. I, I know your heart. I can see your heart. Eh? You are still trying to adjust. This is Bishop talking to us. <laughs> I'm the one, okay? Yes, sir. Let's get into this today. All right. So, the first thing I want to try to talk about is money. Let's start with money. All right. I want to start by saying that God knows you need money. I want you to start with that, that God knows that you need money. Let me just let you know. If not, the Bible would not have told us in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, that the blessing of the Lord maketh rich. You remember that scripture? He says, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. You remember that scripture? Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's read it. Let's read it. Oh, let's go there. Please. Anybody that can help us go there. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. Proverbs 10 22. Let's go there. He says it's the blessing of the Lord. Let's read together if you don't mind. The blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. Someone say the blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. Say the blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. Say the blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. Makes rich. He said again, say makes me rich. Makes me rich. And adds no sorrow. And adds no sorrow. Say properly. Say the blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. Makes me Alexander rich. Now, if God doesn't want you rich, He will not bless you. Because blessing makes us rich. Don't forget that the Bible tells us in the beginning that God blessed them. So God's blessing is to make you rich. Please, you get what I'm trying to say. So riches is part of God's plan. That you have money. Yes. In First John. I mean, 3 John, 3, 3 John verse 2. That's 3 John 2. 3 John 2. He says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. Hallelujah. Amen. In Psalm 35 verse 27, he says, Let them shout for joy. Amen. And be glad. Them that favor my righteous cause. He said, Let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. In Job 36, verse 11, he says, If they obey and serve me, they shall spend their days in prosperity. So there's such a thing called prosperity that is brought about by the blessing of the Lord. In Job 22, verse 21, he says, I will not thyself with him and be at peace. Then my good shall come to thee. He says, Receive, I pray thee, the Lord from his mouth. If thou shalt return unto the Lord, that is what's from the Lord. 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 And the gold of Ophir, as the stones of the brooks. He said, Then the Lord shall be that, uh, the Almighty shall be that reward, and I shall have plenty of silver. Yes, and you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. God wants you to have plenty of silver. Yes. Yes. Say, I will have plenty of silver. I will have plenty of silver. 
Say silver will not have me. Silver I will have silver. I will have silver. I will have silver. I will have gold. I will have gold. I want to make it clear today that I am preaching tonight about the prosperity of the Lord. Yes, and one of the things about a good church is where the word of God is preached, faith is built on. Yes, sir. Why I'm preaching it is because I want to build your faith. I want to build your faith. Anything that is preached about increases faith. Yes, For faith comes by the hearing and the hearing of the word of God. Yeah. It's important to preach about these things so that people can have faith. Hallelujah. Yes, faith that God is a God that wants them to prosper. Yes, that God is a good God. Yes, sir. God is not a God that wants you to beg or borrow. He says you shall lend to nations and not borrow. Yes. You shall lend to nations and not borrow. Yes. You shall lend to nations and not borrow. Amen. Ah, some of us are not seeing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. That Nigeria's 27 trillion. Amen. Someday you are the one to lend to nations. Amen. Amen. See, don't doubt it. Somebody understands this thing enough and receives it. it. I say one more time, by the inspiration of the Almighty, that you shall lend to nations and not borrow. This is so important that you are aware that the power of God is available to make a man rich. The Bible says that Job was the richest man in all of the East. That means God is a God that can make you wealthy. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, thou shalt lay up gold as dust. <laughs> that figurative expression is striking. Yes. Gold as dust. <laughs> gold as dust. <laughs> and the gold of us here has the stones of Kaya. <laughs> gold as dust. Ladies and gentlemen, dust is everywhere. Good. Do you understand? The dust is everywhere. If you lock room, dust will be there. Yes. I don't know how it enters Wodrodo. Wodrodo, I pray that your fortune will not be more important. Yeah. Yeah. Turn up your hands. I receive the abundance of this life. The abundance of this life. I receive. I receive gold as dust. Gold as dust. I receive. I receive sufficiency. Sufficiency in cash. In cash. In plenty. In plenty. In abundance. In abundance. In every good thing. In every good thing. Gold as dust. Gold as dust. Gold as dust. Gold as dust. Plenty of silver. Plenty of silver. I receive. I receive. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So I'm speaking about personal finance, corporate finance, and evangelism. Yes, sir. All right, please. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying here? Yes, I want you to know that God wants you rich, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Let me tell you something. You can do more with more. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. You can do more with more. It's because you don't have enough, you are not able to give. Mm. And it's because you don't have enough that you are not thinking of how to help. Mm. Man was designed to be originally selfish. Mm. He's to take care of himself first. You will first of all look at your own. If something is, if you are, if you are in an airplane, flow, they will tell you peace. Before you take care of your baby, you take care of yourself. It's because you are alive, your baby can be alive. Yes, in the plane, they will tell you, please take your, wear your belt first, treat yourself, wear your own mask, and take care of your baby. Your own baby. Some people don't have life rights. Just somehow, they have been trained and taught and deceived to think that if they take care of other people first, then they will be mm -hmm. Why it is very important to take care of other people, you can only take care of other people when you are taking care of yourself. Yes. Please, yes. Do you agree with what I'm Some of us now are sitting, we are most kind of family body. <laughs> <laughs> you are, some just tells that if you don't send them money, they will not survive. Mm -hmm. It's a lie. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Take care of yourself first. Yes, so tonight I want to share something about finance. Can we get into it right yes, now? In today's finance, I want to talk a little very practical, not just over our heads, all right? So at some point, I hope to stop and take questions, just so that we can be more engaging and wrap up November properly. Good to see you after this. 
I'm in church, remember your name. Who's going to see you? And you'll be missing church a lot. Eh? You have to be. There was a time we were very free to be here. God wants you to be very free to be here, but praise God. Hallelujah. So we're going to look at it first of all tonight and ask ourselves a question. Please, if you can write down, it's very important. What way do you make money? Help me ask yourself that question. How do you make money? That's the question. All right. I would assume that everybody here um, has a way of making some money. What is your channel of income or your stream of income? Stream of income. What is your personal stream of income? How do you make money? How do you expect money? What has been your choice? What is your roots of making money? Are we together? Yes, yes sir. sir. Can anybody answer that question? How do you make money? Anybody? How do you make money? Sell services. Sell services. Mama is correct. You are so, you, there are two legitimate ways of making money. Actually, there are about five. But two are the most common and the most legit. I'll tell you the main thing today, if you remind me. Okay? But let's address it. The first way to make money is to give a service. Yes, to sell a service or to sell a good. So you are either selling a service, that is, you are working in an organization, you are selling a service. Yes. Don't say, I don't know what I'm saying. You are, that's your, in that organization, they hire you for the service you can provide. Yes. <laughs> or you are selling a good. Somebody is here selling clippers. That's a good. That's something. Those are two major ways. Let me tell you the many free, just so that I don't forget. You can also make money by inheritance. All right, if I want to give you inheritance, yes, you spoken on money, it's inheritance. You can make money by investment. Am I correct? Yes, yes. the money you make by investment. That one is not service or good you sold. It's an investment that you, you know, you got yes. to Yes, an ROI, thank you. Then you have goods and services, you have inheritance. Let me make the last one, my so you buy my book. Not the one that I said, and my book is out to say, I, I know what to say. Let me keep something for the books. All right, but I hope you got the three I just showed you. So one is, well, let's take the game. Full of goods or service, all right? That's as an entrepreneur or an... Let's, let's leave it like this, okay, for the way I prepare it, all right? Number one, being an entrepreneur, being an employee, all right? Those are the two ways by which you can make money either an, as an entrepreneur number one number two an employee number two that's your paid salary right then number three through what investment. investments all right all right inheritance uh, investments number three and then number four in yeah. inheritance mm-hmm. please do you get my point yeah. that's three okay. number one is as an entrepreneur yeah. number two as an employee yeah. number three inheritance yeah. and number four investment yeah. you can put them in whatever order i hope you got it yourself but there's still one more that I will skip that for the good truth. So I, I want us to see that you are, if you are not plugged to any of those things, you are not going to be able to make consistent. Because I this one said, yes, you need to check whatever you are doing. So if what happens, listen to this. The principle I'm teaching us today is that being blessed means that you are not blessed because of where you are, is that wherever you are, what is blessed. When we say a man is blessed, it's not the place that is blessed, it is the man that is blessed. Mm -hmm. What that means is that you are blessed before you go and take that job. It's not that job that is your blessing. Mm -hmm. You brought the blessing to the job. Do you understand? Some people, for example, think that because they are working in Shell now, Shell is the blessed place. Shell can be blessed. You are the blessed working in a place. You must understand that as an employee. The moment you switch that understanding, you become a victim of where you are. You become a slave of where you are. You are the blessed. 
walking in a place. That's why the Bible says, wherever the soles of your feet will tread upon, that's it says, there shall I give to you as your possession. Please, are you get what I'm saying? Yes, so, so you are the blessed. Say that after say, I am the blessed. I am the blessed. Say one more time, say I am the blessed. Yes. God wants us to come into the organization with the consciousness that we are the blessed. God wants us to come into a place with the consciousness that we are his blessed. Yes, sir. So when you get into an organization, stop thinking the organization is your favor. Mm-hmm. Does not mean that you are not fortunate for what the mom says. You are the blessed. I don't know how I'll call this. Because, I am the blessed. Because, because you came in and then they asked you, you should better apply. Mm-hmm. The blessing is on you. Yes, yes, sir. Let me let you know the blessing is not on everybody. Mm-hmm. If you heard me on Sunday, I said something very funny. When I was working with Esther Mass, I said, I'm not working with Esther Mass and I'm yes. blessed. Uh, yes, you said. And you remember I said something like that? Yes, that we are saying you should join us does not mean that you, thought, you can come in here and bring Wahala. Yes, sir. And we don't want Wahala. Yes. So it's equal. I would say you should join us now because they are desperate. Everybody just come. Some of you we don't want you to join us. <laughs> and we have we reserve the right to tell you don't come here, yeah, don't come to this church. Some people are troublemakers. Yes, sure you know. Yes, sir. Like you think that coming here is a blessing, it's a lie, it's a trouble. Yes, what am I saying? I want you to please understand and remember that you are the blessed. I am the blessed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It should inform diligence into your work. Now that you know that you are the blessed, you should walk like the blessed. Mm-hmm. Not walk like an idiot. Oh, yeah. Now that you are the blessed, behave like the blessed. Yes, sir. Not walk like a dummy. You should know that you are blessed. Blessed people think sharp. Blessed people live honest. Blessed people come on time. Blessed people close at the right time. Do extra. Please, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Blessed people are not ordinary people, so they go extraordinary. Yes, they do more than the ordinary. Blessing does not mean, it's not an invitation to laziness. Yes, mm. It's not an invitation to lethargy. Mm. It's not a redundancy on God's lap. Blessing means that you work twice as hard as others. Mm. How do I know? Apostle Paul said it. First Corinthians 15 10. He says, I am what I am by the grace of God, if you wish, by the blessing of the Lord. He says, yet not I, but that the grace of God that I want. He says, yet because I live God more than them all. Read it up, first and that's what he said. So that we are blessed, we should think sharper. We should work twice as hard. Not because we are using the works to get it, but we know that we can do much more than others because we are blessed. I don't know if many of us can relate to this example of driving. When you are driving a blessed car, amen. Amen. You don't leave the pedal at a low uh, uh, rev and expect it to overtake. It's blessed. It can overtake. You double the pedal. You lace it properly. And see how blessed a man can be. You know what I'm talking about here? You literally can overtake. I like and I see nothing happen. <laughs> but if I just keep playing with the cards, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, you know I'm blessed, you know I'm driving the car that is blessed. Nothing will show. No matter how powerful the guy is. So a blessed man does more. Because what is in him is greater than what is in the world. Yes, Am I making some sense? Yes, sir. Sir. Now let me just say this. As a member of virtuous Christians, don't think like an ordinary person. You are doing injustice to my teachings when you don't so lack on intelligent people. Oh, yeah. You may just think that you are here. If you are not intelligent, it will affect the outcome. Yes, sir. So please, when you go to work tomorrow, she's wearing her clothes, you are wearing her clothes, your clothes. She's dressed up, you are dressed up. All of us look like normal people. But you need to look in the mirror and remind yourself, this one is blessed. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, yes sir. To be blessed also means that you want away evil and attract good. Mm, yes, sir. To be blessed is greater than catch, carrying cash food. So, this is how the Lord made me my heart to talk about it. That you are blessed not just to be blessed, you are blessed to be a blessing. Amen. Please hear that. Yes, sir. The more you can be a blessing, 
is the more the pleasantness to walk in your life. So as a Christian, you may have heard it before, but it gets repeated. You are blessed not to be, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. That's not an end. I'm blessed to be a blessing. Until your life becomes a blessing, your being blessed is not yet valid. Who is getting blessed because of blessed? Who is getting blessed? Now, I want to speak about that very briefly. And then we'll come to, as I talk about Evan. The first thing you must realize about the fact that you are blessed is you and your household. You see what I just said? You and your household. Now, I'm going to say this clearly to you. Your household does not necessarily mean your parents or your family members. There are people who are that to us that did not give back to us by blood. Hello. I'm going to say this, please, this no. God wants you and your household to be blessed. A man must do good to members of his own household. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, what I just said is the truth. Your family, especially if you're married. Especially if you're married. Don't go and be looking for everybody who has problems with your family. But the much you can do, you must do. You hear what I just said? Yes, sir. Don't ignore your family. Yes, sir. At the same time, don't take more than you can chew or handle. Mm. For you to take care of your family and not have savings for what you receive is not wisdom. Hmm. That you have something, let's say you have 30,000, and just as an example, you have 3 million. Yes, sir. And the family member says, I need money. And he says, I need 10,000. And you tell him, I don't have money to give you. Though you have 30,000 in your series, stop feeling like you lied. Mm. Mm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, That's money to give you. yes I don't have money to give you now. Mm. What does that mean? We stop. Separate money for your giving. Mm. Put money aside. If you lump everything together as your savings and put from your savings what you give, you will never have something for yourself. Mm -hmm. So stop feeling guilty when you tell the person, I'm sorry, I cannot help you now. What that means for you is that start to separate certain amount as your savings that is given for giving out. And once that amount finishes, don't feel bad. I tell you a story, we can laugh over it now. You may know the person I'm talking about, but I will not mention it. Okay? They are brothers and brothers. Both of them are brothers. Years back, one wanted to buy a beautiful car. <laughs> I remember, I can never forget, he was in training someone and came back. <laughs> and he asked his brother for extra 100,000 naira. That would not give him. He said, I'm sorry, I don't have. But he saw his brother doing something that was more than 100,000 naira. When they met, he said, I didn't have to give you. That one was angry. He wanted to buy one powerful car. Is that either Sumatra or uh, the, the Big Boots Benz? That's many years ago now. <laughs> Talking about Big Boots now. That's many years ago. Ah! The brother said, How can so? He said, Because the budget I had for giving had finished. <laughs> Me, your brother, he said, Yes. Some of us really want sentiments. Oh, <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> on, on road sentiments and emotional clues. <laughs> <laughs> emotional presence. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you believe. Every small thing is an emotion. You can't stand your ground and own a future. I this to yes. Yes, You probably think I'll say you should not be a giver. That's what I said. I'm coming to it because the purpose of your having is to give. Yes, sir. But I want to be wise without it. Mm. I miss what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Please, can I talk freely? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Don't misunderstand you. <laughs> you hear that? Yes, sir. Don't misunderstand, Pastor. <laughs> let me talk freely. Listen, it's a very important wisdom eh, to have the amount you can give for yourself. 
For starters, listen, you may start in a careless way, but after this message, I urge you to be wise about it. Yes, sir. For example, before you give out tax thousand, half tax thousand. Yes, Have it in such a way that you can save it. It's, it's there. Let me tell you what happens to your savings. Your savings is not your remedy. I understand. Right. But it helps you feel you have something. Mm. And that feeling is from a cheerful heart, mm. not from a deprived heart. Except the Lord speaks to you specifically. Make sure that whatever you give, you have. Somebody knows what I'm saying. Yes, sir. I want to teach this today and free my spirit from anybody because after this teaching, if you do anyhow, you see anyhow. It's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does that mean? If I aspire to give out 30,000, I will save 30,000. I have 30,000 in my account. Except I'm led to pour out everything. But that 30,000 that I want to give out has not yet existed. What's the right thing to do? If you took the 30,000 I don't want to give while keeping that 30,000 in place. Is that this is what I'm saying? Yes, if I know better tomorrow, I will teach you better. But for now, this is how I'm led to teach you. Please, do you listen what I'm saying? Yes, yes, sir. Make sure that you have what you can give. A man can only give what he has. If you give it and you don't have it, it's not what you have. You do not hear me. If you had me, you would get to that. Yes, yes, sir. If you give 10,000 and you don't have it, you don't have 10,000. Yes, yes. You should have what you give out. Yes, yes sir. sir. Or you should have had it. Please, did you get what I just said? Yes, sir. So, this is what I'm going to A man that has, and listen to this. There are two major sources of income, of finances. There are two major sources of finances, or if you wish, three. Please, are you listening? Yes. Number one is God. Number two is the devil. And number three is the world system. By that, I mean diligence. Diligence and the devil are not necessarily the same, but they can pile together sometimes. Yes, sir. A man can be hard working and through the diligence of his hands, he makes rich. That does not necessarily mean it is God. A man that works through diligence of his hands, we usually, sometimes, not all the time, may be proud, like the Bukadnezah. See what I have built. See this, this, this. You know, there's a way you come back. I want to check what you have done. <laughs> so that's why I said maybe proud. It's not all, you. <laughs> but maybe proud or maybe tempted to cry. The man whom the devil gives stuff, we regret it because Satan will ask stuff from you. So my best recommendation, because we're in church and that's really the best, even outside church, is that God should be your blesser. When God blesses, there is no sorrow attached. Who knows that scripture? We quoted the earlier. The blessings of the Lord makes rich and has no sorrow. Please listen. I'm going to start on this teaching tonight too. So when God blesses, there is no sorrow attached. Someone say there is no sorrow to my blessing. There is no sorrow to my blessing. And you close your eyes. Think of any kind of sorrow. I say it already from now. There is no sorrow to my life. There is no sorrow to my life. Say properly, there is no sorrow to my blessing. There is no sorrow to my blessing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. With no reproach. With no reproach. Say properly, I am blessed. I am blessed. With no command. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now look up at me, please. So there is the God blessing. When God blesses you, listen. The Bible says that you should be conscious of it so, it's that, so that you can be a blessing. Now, for the purpose of this discussion, I want to come home to virtues. Can we do that? Yes, sir. Listen. 
in Texas Christian Center, I want to say that any organization, for that matter, that organizes or gathers itself and does not have a financial source of income is as serious as an individual that does not have a source of income. Now let me ask the question. If somebody says, I don't know how I make money, how would you take that person? Yes. If you have makes money, a church is a legal entity. It's also serious. Our church must be clear on how we make money. Our source of making money. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me ask you a question. Let me preempt this question before I talk about evangelism. Which is more important? Souls being saved or the saved souls staying saved? Huh? Saved souls staying saved. So you think this other saved souls can stay unsaved? It's not because they are saved. It's the saved ones can actually bring in more. Who feels for that? How do they get saved? <laughs> they got saved by the saved ones. <laughs> Who can help me? Which one is more? I'm asking a question. I'm bringing it to the church now. Can we talk, please, now? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to do like say we did. <laughs> After that, I'm laugh. Can we just talk like a real yes, church? Sir. <laughs> Which one is more important? Um, getting soul saved or saved soul staying saved? Once they are saved, they are forever saved. Oh. 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 So, they are saved, they are forever saved. So, they are saved. So, they are saved. So, they 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 Direct correct answer in first instance. Yo. I feel like so <laughs> <laughs> First instance, we need to pay out for the souls that have been saved to an extent. Because if it's more like a room, okay. people keep coming, people keep going out. Okay. And then the those are going out. That is by that your uh, implication. By the, like you said, so states keep if they are not staying, it means they are going out. Okay, okay. Outside. So I feel like it's important for us to, it's important for the souls at first to be saved. Because in that gathering of the numbers, that gathering of a lot of people, it's also attractive to now start catching for more souls. Very, very good, very good, very good. Who has a few different lessons? Please project, do like this, <laughs> I feel that um, safe souls being saved is more important because if we have more souls that are more staying safe, we have hope that those who are not safe and those who are safe that are not staying safe will be will stay safe and be and we stay <laughs> and we stay yes and so because uh, according to this that if if we just keep saving souls teaching it was a teaching that made them safe another teaching can make can Take them out of this, uh, out of the fold. And the truth is that anybody that 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 can is salvation can be overlied by another teaching will find it very difficult to come back to the fold. Very, very very difficult. So it's important to have safe to stay safe because there's hope that we can have more safe to stay. Thank you, sir. This is very much. Can we take two more people? Anybody? Yes, tickets. Same we have. First families. Okay. It's not good for us to have more first families and not have more retention. If we have more first families, more retention, that means people that are retained will bring more people. Mm. Because if we keep having more people and we are not being retained, then we are reducing the number. Okay. So, in your opinion, we will say so, stay safe. So that we have to cost in this situation. Yes, quickly all the They also feel that the energy required to put them back, the already said to the house, could be twice as what we do to the point. It's actually important for them to stay safe. 
come up with a for it. And also, the six souls that are staying can unstay if you are saving souls and they are not staying. One day we we'll start to question that why are they not staying? Maybe what they have where is beginning not stay is sita that what we are experiencing here. So we might have more same school staying. That's okay for the soul. It is quite it is a very personal it's a very personal response. I see <laughs> somebody say glory. glory. Okay, let's get to it. Now listen. Both are important. Yes, sir. If you don't save souls, there will be nobody to build the kingdom. Mm. Yes. If they're not saved, they'll go to hell. Now if the kingdom is not built, the idea of God on this earth will be lost to you. Now let me just say something. Some of us may know this, some of us may not know this. The only institution, let's look up now, look up then. The only institution that belongs to God on this earth is church. The only thing that is God's own, I will build my church. He did not say your church. I will build, he called it, he was personal. I will build, he did not say I will build church. He could have said it. Mm. The only institution that belongs to God on this earth is church. That's why when I see people trying to control church, I look, I say, you don't understand. God is the owner of his church. He died for this church. He will kill for it. <laughs> so, now listen. Veterans, for example, is a ministry built by God. And I'm saying that because I want to know, I'm the pastor, so I can say confidently, that the objective of this church, we have, we have not started scratching it, at all. And in this instance, of the purpose of this conversation, please come and sit down now. It's not me being said. Come and sit down. 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 You know? So, the purpose of us existing as a ministry is this revolution of the Alpha time. The purpose of us existing as a ministry is both to save the lost. And to keep the saved safe. In virtues, we are doing both. Yes, sir. Both in evangelism and also in discipleship. I want to see that as a ministry, if we are going to stay in the business of evangelism, we will need finances for evangelism. Yes, sir. We will also need finances for discipleship. Please, are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, I want to share this today because from 2024, some things will change. All right? For example, it is not right that as a ministry, we are spending the offering and the tithe of the church on doing programs. It's not right. Every program should sponsor itself. That offering you gave to God was a generosity towards the house of God from your pocket, from what God has blessed you with. The offering is not to be used to sponsor programs. It is to be used to run the administration of the church. The day in, day out, buying fuel, paying salaries, hiring stewards, paying Loma, do you understand? Stationaries, printer. That is what offering is used for. Please, can we talk tonight? Yes, sir. Your tithe, as it comes at the end of the month, it is received in heaven spiritually by being received on earth here physically. We don't have the same portal where we pay your tithe to that goes to heaven. <laughs> it is administered here. Now, let me say something. Though it is received on earth, God marks that us. I want to say something. And now listen, because you have to understand that 
You are not yet a part of a local church until your finances get involved with the local church. And I just want to address this because many times we wonder why we are not moving to another level. It's like largely because we are playing with our finances. You ask me. It's like you don't know how great they, they buy sell new car or what they sell. It's your finances. This is not my daddy. God blesses the ministry to the degree of every city. There is no point in ministry trying to do more than itself. It's like an individual trying to do more than itself. But for that individual not to receive all the revenue due to her or him is to undermine the blessings of the Lord. Now listen to this. Tithes and offerings are not regular money. Imagine you gather your tithes and offerings, now put it inside the basket, and give it to me. Then I can't use it to buy bread on your road. The same way, God does not judge that way, that thing you did, ordinary. He takes it as a sacred money of people that you gather sacred money, go take buy bread. That would be the last you will buy. So we do not treat sacred things casually. Please, are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I need to say it. I might not always preach this matter, but I need to say this one tonight. And the money of the church belongs to God. And the man that squanders it, God will judge. Yes, sir. For us not to be interested is to be careless. Now, in this world of transfer and all that. Some of you and I called it during the week. I was just doing a simple survey. Our church is losing money because people are forgetting to give offerings. From transfer. From, so sometimes we are not able to meet salaries when it is. Whereas it's not supposed to be so. Something is missing for us not to have our money received in our, on, on our sites. It's either we are buying more than we can chew you know what I mean by that? Yes. yes. Or so, something is not adding up. Let us have its structure. For example, on Sunday, if I make a random sample now, how many people remember to give their offering when due? You would you be surprised what everybody did. Some plan to do a transfer that they forgot to do. A lot of people, their monies are not coming till now. And we go in there, and these are regular faithful people in church. I'm not talking about faithful people. That either out of activity or being busy are not conscious of making the consciousness that lose the vision. Making sure that the money, the vision's money comes in. Either to keep people safe or to get people safe. So what am I saying? I'm saying that I want you to tonight to understand personal finances. Is for corporate growth of the household. You see what I just said? Yes, God blesses you so that you can also bless his church. If you are forgetting to give God's offering, you are making a big mistake. Because I'm learning of the system I created. This is what I'm saying? Yes. So I can change. Remove it from me. Give it to this person who is doing well. Are you see what I'm saying here? Yes, That's important. There's no sentiment here. I mean, I <laughs> You know, we are still in the stage of building. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Everybody thinks we are finished building because we are using ICM. Have you? When are going to still very uh, 77,000 souls set on fire? You know how we say? Yes, we are still going very far. It's too early to be impressed with anybody. Yes, it's too early to be impressed with anybody. Yes, anybody. It's not what I'm doing. I'm not here to patronize anybody. Yes, sir. And I don't, I don't know your face. I don't know you from anywhere. If you are not doing what I collect, I will bring back, give it to somebody else that can do better. It's not hard. You are not the MD, come give me my MD, it's not your own. I'll give it to somebody else who can. That's how God's kingdom works. Why am I saying this to us? I'm saying that let us all sit up where we are. Yes, let us all do what we ought to do. Let us all do what we ought to give. Yes, let us all be committed the way we are. Nobody says you should do what you don't have. Yes. If you have decided to give 10,000, give your 10,000 on time. Let us be begging you. I'm waiting for your ten thousand. It's God's house, please. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said this because the Lord spoke to me and told me 
You are the one not serious. Yes. For me to hear that from the Lord is tough. I was praying and he said, You are the one not serious. Tell me some other things. Don't be deceived. Da, 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 da. I wrote it down. I shared some of it to Mama. Be faithful where you are. If what you can do is this, do it with all your heart. Do it in faith. Like I said, some of us are here. You know that you can do more. Do more. Do more. And I promise you, you will reward it more. Like I said, I, it is unfair to be giving you the same attention like somebody who gave 10,000 when you gave 1 million. I will not do it. You deserve, you deserve times 1,000 more. Yes, it's real. Because that generosity is an expression of commitment. Yes, sir. Is that even what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. Let me quickly add this to it. Your generosity towards the church of God is very important. Please, are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Very important. Don't, don't give just when it is convenient. Give because you are committed. By now, some of you are still giving money that enters envelope. It's proof you are not, your, your figures are not significant. Have a budget in the month. Four Sundays in the month. That means if you get 500, 500, 500, 500, you've only given your 2,000 naira. You are not here. The ice cream is more than 2,000 naira. Yes, sir. With all three, you have been giving. Can't even buy full ice cream again. You are trusting God for more. Yes, God is not getting any more from you from the increase you've got. I'm saying it because like the individual life, the organization too is an individual. Yes, sir. And somebody must be bold in the spirit of frugality and accountability. I can say this because I am doing what I'm preaching. I'm doing what I am preaching. I am doing what I'm... There's no money that comes into my hand that does not that this church does not enjoy from. And I will continue to be so. Now, I, I'm saying this because I want to challenge somebody. Some of us say you are earning far more than you are giving. Far more than you are giving. This church family would have gotten a better convenience. We are about to pay new rent of this place. When would you start to ask her to do big things for God? There's nothing wrong with saving to give. Yes, sir. There's nothing wrong with saving to give. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm challenging us today. If you've been given 500 at a level as a young minister, you should actually. If your money is entering envelope regularly, it's proof that it's not transferable. There are about three things that can tell us. Number one, it may mean that you're not doing well financially. It also guides us on the kind of things you can put you in charge of. Yes. If you have never given 10,000 naira as offering once, to put you on top of 10,000 naira would be like a death trap. Why are you giving 10,000? You will almost collapse. You might think I'm joking. I'm not joking. The things of the spirit must be guided by reasonability sometimes. For example, putting someone who doesn't have the capacity on what you are telling to, he will, he will spoil it. Imagine you want to correct somebody that is a latecomer to an organization. You know you will understand every latecomer's plight. Yes. I understand. I understand. Let's just try to be trying our best. Let's just be trying our best. You see, God, God is our heart. What do you try to see? Who is always absent? God knows we are trying our best. God sees my head, my chest. My chest is pure. He will understand with every absentee. What do you think will happen to someone who doesn't pay tight and is an HOD? He will never inspire people to pay tight. He thank you, Jiggy. Thank you. He will never inspire anybody to pay tight. It will not be an inspiration because he does not do it. You know, givers encourage others to give. Non givers get angry when the other givers are giving. They are not the giver, but they are angry they are giving them because your generosity is making them look small. <laughs> you never know the death trap of not being a giver. That's why, no matter how small, give. God who saw that size multiplies it. So don't forget the principle. It says, He bless them. 
then they were fruitful. Then they multiplied. God wants you to be fruitful, and from that your little fruitfulness, He wants to multiply you. Now let me close with you. You know, I've already introduced the concept of evangelism. The church is supposed to run, and we will continue from virtues to run based on our commitment to that project. Yes, we will no longer be using church finances for projects or honorariums. It's not right. Maybe before we gathered, we were trying that. But if we are growing, we should migrate. Yes, uh-huh. The offering and the tithes of the church are for the administration of the church. Don't let that be freeze, freeze your, your reasoning. Yes, sir. Nobody is eating tight. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? Yes, Nobody is eating anything. By the grace of God, you can tell before you came I was. No matter you're gone, I will be. By the grace of God. So it's not your money that feeds my family. Let's be clear. Are you listening to what I'm saying here? <laughs> let's, let's, you know sometimes it's good to just say, oh, how to clear wherever the dust is coming from. Send it back to the people of hell. It's not your money that buys my shoe. It's not your money that feeds our family. No, it's not. We give. We pay tight today. Yesterday we did. We did another one today. In terms of thousands. To the church. Your own one thousand, you think it's small. Be faithful with it. Yes. Otherwise, we will all go to five billion and you will still be one thousand. Yes. Nobody says you should give tens of thousands. Be faithful with your own. Don't let us beg you before you give it. I will know if you don't give. I will know if you don't tithe. I am not challenging you. Don't know because I don't know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are talking about this matter now because all of us belong to virtues. Is scarcely anybody who came to this door that does not know we are missing here. There is no ID outside. If you enter here, you know you meet here. <laughs> yes, you know. If you can enter here, you are sure of what is going on here. Because we do not invite people more than necessary. <laughs> Why am I saying so? Because by this time next year, this church will be a thousand times more than this. <laughs> and it is going to be by the faithful discipline of all of us. Faithful commitments. We are not raising, you know, some churches, they will tell you, bring that money to my hand. Bring that money to my hand. Right now, bring it. Is not, is, do we do that every Sunday? You know, we don't do that. Nobody is challenging anything. Even your pastor said, we are not even sure what you can give him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, the guy is not looking bad himself. Uh-huh. To let you know that we are not deceiving anybody here. Are you listening to what I'm saying here? Yes, now, why am I saying this? By this time next year, this ministry should be a thousand times more than this. And all I'm telling you from your side is let's decide together. I'll be faithful. Time for offering. Some people will put it against themselves. They don't have anything to do. This is, we don't even need to know. I know what's funny. People that this really fully, they don't shout. <laughs> Sometimes, don't shout in accord enough. <laughs> You need to see their dance. <laughs> you scatter ground. Ask them how much they do. Uh-huh. Ask them. Ask them. And you think they don't have until they are at our force. You will think they don't have until they are at our force. Do you know what I mean by that? You will see money inside the rapper. Where Rasta pulled out, struggled out 100,000 naira. And 100 naira notes. She will give. And they will dance with plenty dance. To cover up for the figure they are giving. Believing that the dance will make up for the amount. Do you understand what I'm saying? So churches are strangulated. Churches are not doing well because they think how much is 100,000 naira inside the offering basket. God blesses what you give from the heart. To a hundred naira that came in on time, God blesses it. It is money. I'll close with this spiritual stamina. When you are financially stable, 
Are you listening to what I'm saying? You will know and you will notice how you are growing step upon step, line upon. I'm telling you. You will know, you will see yourself grow. One step, one step. You will see it. One step, one step. One step. You will know, you, you will see it. People don't know that they are connected. Your spiritual authority is tied to the level of obedience you give to God. Demonstrated in generosity and obedience in other issues. This major area that all of us struggle with is the issue of money. When I get a million, I don't feel like touching it. I like the figure. Once you break it, then it is the nine hundred. Nine something. You know what I'm talking about. I have to reach this is one point one. No, it is not. You, you have never that discipline, that trust in God. You will never know how it works. Yes, I'm telling you. That thing, that's how people grow. Listen, there's no other university of life that we like to already live in. This is the life. You may be happy thinking of being stingy is an advantage. You will stay there stingy. Still, God will pay you. I promise you. You will watch people progress and wonder what is happening in your life. Stingo? Stingo Coco? Is that the name of So what am I saying? I'm saying your spiritual stamina. Eh? Look, there are some things you might not know how to pray but you can give yourself out of. You might not know how to pray or the prayer or the prayer or the shout to, but when your generosity is there, you argue with me, go and read Acts 9. Go and read Mark 12. You will see how Jesus Christ was told Follow this man to his house because he has built up a church. An angel of being seated to him saying, This one is different. He is a giver and he built up a church. The Holy Ghost is the first gentile because he's a giver. Ah. So there's nothing in giving. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Now, let me tell you something about life. If God counts me faithful enough, he does not mind sending people from outside to come and sponsor this work. I tell you, he does not mind. It's a privilege. She is in your front now, preaching, teaching, and giving. It's to let you know we still need plenty of money. We don't have it enough. Uh-huh. So you don't think that, ah, we don't blow. Wait, yeah. If we are blowing, we'll be here. Huh? So we are asking ourselves now. I am inviting you to a faithfulness with God. I will not be checking your back to know what God gave you. God knows what He's blessing you with. It is up to you to be faithful. It's up to you. When you come to church, you can send your money. You don't have to be in church to send your money. Oh, it's all lies. You are lying. That's why you don't come to church. You liar. You don't want to give before. So if I was in church, as if church is where not is that how they send you money? You your office to come to your house, be faithful. Some of us earn in foreign currency. You say that one is not part of the title. It's not true. I'll close with this. So, on the two channels of making income, we spoke about the devil of three the devil, God, and diligence. I think that diligence is a good thing. Please listen. Are you listening to what I'm saying? But a man that can count and account for only what he has earned is not living a favored life. If all the money you have is what you work for, God was not involved. This is one of the reasons why I encourage everyone to try to have a business source of income. Even if you are working as a staff in an organization. Because with your business, God can surprise you. But with your salary, there are little surprises. <laughs> That's why people that end salary don't usually use faith. Get tired of the organization and believe that. Listen, it's not only by business that God can bless you, but I'm saying consistently have something you are doing, have a service you render that can open the channels of water to your direction. Because God can only bless you to the degree you can receive it. Yeah. And God wants to bless this ministry. It should be through you. It should be through you. And that's what I'm saying, your heart should be large. 
So don't play while you. It is not the increase of income that makes a man increase in life. It is the blessing of God. You can have more increases than leads to decrease. It is the blessing of the Lord. I cannot deceive you, sir. I have my wife here. I have a family to prove to you. And I will never deceive you for anything. It is the blessing of the Lord. It is the blessing of the Lord. It's not the increase of more money. Listen, don't be smart in your own eye. Calm down. God is the judge of all. Yes, sir. Hmm. So, there is a financial system of God and there is a financial system of man. I want us to look at this together and then I close here. The system of God requires faith. Everybody say faith. Amen. Now, where this closure, this closure is very important. The system of God runs by faith. The system of man runs by diligence. Please, are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes. When we say faith, you may think we are saying you should not be diligent. No. When we say faith, we mean that you, sh you should journey your route to riches through divine guidance. You journey your route to plenty or wealth and abundance through divine leading. I'm not talking about you. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, mm -mm, mm -mm. stop all this behavior. That's being spooky. That's not what we are saying. We are saying that you understand that God is your source. God is my source. Say that after me. Say God. Say properly. Say God is my source. Say God is my sustenance. Some people don't understand this thing and they think that it is their work that is their source. You may have a good job, but that is not your source. Your source is God. Therefore, your sustenance is God. On matters of finances and well-being, the Bible says we should live by faith. Make your finances a lifestyle of faith. Then you will learn that money is not really your power. That God is your defense. Yes, Lord. <laughs> so, as bear in mind, you cannot be. Um, let me not say it like that. Let me say it this way: there will always be somebody who wants to be richer than you. Let me put it that way. Let me put it that way. Who wants to be richer than you? Now, I'm drawing our attention to this consciousness because I want all of us to unplug from the system of this world. Does that mean you are not working in that office? Take it that God brought you to the office. Do you know the difference between I passed the interview and God placed me here? There's a big difference. There's a big difference. I passed the interview will make you conscripted to that organization. God puts me here will make you conscripted to God's instructions. There are two different things. They inform how you behave in the organization. You may think on yourself that no, 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 I've got to this one, I don't want to spoil it. Let me tell you something. They can suck you in that organization. <laughs> <laughs> you will always think it's because I said they will do it tomorrow. <laughs> they can suck you without apologies. And tell you, thank you. They will, some they will zoom out. Don't come again. That's all. Oh, no, 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 Hey, that's where it starts from. Who puts me here will determine where I will be. You know when you think you got it because you did interview, you will keep doing interview to keep keeping it. When God gives you that job, you will know He put you there. Yes. And when it's time, He tells you check out. Why am I saying so? The source of the thing is the sustenance of that thing. Yes, 
If you slept with the man to get the job, you continue to sleep with the man to keep the job. Mm. If you cheated to get an exam, you continue to cheat to pass the exam. If you got the job by discipline, you continue to use discipline to get the exam. But if God puts you there, you continue to use God to keep the job. Are you the one saying that? Yes, That's why people can look in the boss and say, sir, it's not your time, sir. I remember when I was in the organization, I, I wish there's a message, I'll post it on the group tonight that you should listen to. I was in the organization insurance, bank assurance, and they were posted us to mainland. I was the only guy there. We were supposed to make millions on the mainland, like thieves. Figures I've never had before. Figures that my grandmother does not know. You know how they send you? I remember that time, Mama was in the bank, they told her to go and look for 3 billion. As a family, we're looking for how much? <laughs> crazy figure. I told us that. Come on, let us look for this three billion. <laughs> if you can find it, if they believe in that much, I believe in more than them. Come and stay there. Let us look for it. We are not rich three billion, no. The God has been faithful. <laughs> I'm saying that to you to know that look, if God gave you the job, stop patronizing men to keep the job. Be disciplined, but don't patronize men. Yeah. I'm telling you, be disciplined. Come on time. Do your work well. Be above brain, but know that it is God that gave you the job. I'm saying that so that you can be conscious of the God factor in your progress. You can be interested in that. Let's close with this scripture and then we pray. Psalm 35 verse 27. I quoted it earlier on. But let's put it one more time. Are you blessed tonight, please? <laughs> so, your income, as it comes in, remove your type. Before I came in now, I received a certain amount. Tonight, I'm going to do the transfer. I'm not going to wait till uh, it's convenient. God is not important to your head. So, you no matter how much channels of income you get, it can never be enough. You know why? Because it's not blessed. Enough. God is not in the equation. He's the last person to remember. If you are under stress situations, it's time time will suffer. Mm. It is the one that has to go for it. Oh Lord, bless me. Oh Lord, bless me. Oh. God bless you. Continue. <laughs> 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 And if God is not wise, he said, drop to me, I will drop to you. The way you do me, I will do you. Yeah. You are clever. Clever. Someone that is looking at, how do I get money to vet you? So, this man of God needs some more money. How do I, he's looking. He said, okay, let me give you some two five of it. Let me test you if you can get more. He gave you 25,000. To pay two five. Out of 25, he said, what is it? Bishop needs more than that. It's not like that. I was not there when you gave me 25,000. I will be there when it does not give you anything again. Uh, yes, I will be there. Unless you think you are the one that works for it, it's okay. But the blessedness of God make it rich and added to you. When you tell everyone that I'm responding on sickness, are you blessed to meet? I want us to bow our heads and pray. I say, Lord, I repent. And I ask, Father, for grace to be faithful financially to this ministry and to the other responsibilities of my life. We are going to read that scripture, but let us pray first. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Please let's take a seat and read that scripture before we go. You know, some of you, you know what I'm talking about. You have had money, you did not pay the tithe, the money has finished. Show me? Aha. Church has not died. And it's the same church still preaching to you. With fire. With energy every day. With consistency. Whether through you or through somebody else, God will bring that money to us. Amen. Because we need it. 
but it might not be you. And I'm telling you, when the money comes, don't think I've been in church for 20 years of that shift. Shift. That's how it is. You don't say, the pastor, it's only money they know in that church. Yes, it's only money we know. Because when money came to you, it was only money you knew. You did not know us. You did not know God's house. You know what I'm saying. Blessings are come to you that you cannot testify about. You say, I don't know. Something happens in this place, you think I don't know. Mm. I have a pillow that tells me this. If you don't know. You say, I'm not telling you, Bishop. I'm not telling you the something I don't know. I am not showing you the something I don't know. I am not preaching you the something I don't know. I am not a blind prophet. I see what I need to see. Yes, sir. I want to urge you be faithful. I will be there when the next alert comes. I will be there. But it is going to come. Amen. Be faithful. Don't, don't think we shall be faithful. I don't need to know. It's not me you are worshipping. It's not me you are worshipping. It's God. They gave you 10,000 to bring 1,000 out is half. It looks like you will die. 1,000. The money that God cannot even use. 1,000. That's what I give people as handouts, as tips. 1,000. Looks like a big thing to you. And you want to go 100 million. <laughs> And God will only bless a man who can manage his resources. Read that scripture for me. Let us take communion and go. What does that scripture mean? I'll close with it. Let them shout for joy. Then I pay for my righteous cause. Means God has a cause. Yes, sir. Those that favor it, start to rejoice. God has a cause. Those that favor my righteous cause, you can start to rejoice. He says, Why? If you let them be glad and let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. That means when the money comes to the end, it's nothing to them to say, Let God be magnified. Yes, they drop the money, let God be magnified. If God is magnified, I'm happy with yes, it. Sir. Yes, sir. Some of us don't know that that money you did not give has not allowed this ministry to grow better. Yes. You have not favored the righteous cause. Yes. You have spent the money, you have not finished. Did you, did we die? No. Let your conscience judge you. <laughs> Only you chop up. Only you are <laughs> Only you don't look for money now. Only you not bless me. God save you. You? Is not you gave that money last time? The pastor did not even know. Pastor, 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 you know me here. Not even your brother here about it. Today, the Lord is speaking to our hearts. He says, Let them say, Control, let the Lord be magnified. God has pleasure. May God have pleasure in your prosperity. Once again, I will not be there when God blesses you. I'm not going to know how much they gave you as um, the money when I urge you to give first fruit. It's an attempt to urge you to financial safety. Ah, look, let me tell you something. I know it sounds something, something. Spiritual things require faith. Yes, sir. You will need faith to succeed. Yes. And there's no better place to practice faith than your finances and your health. Yes. 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 Money. Lord, I trust you for this money. I will leave my faith and I trust that it's coming. And when it comes, you know the right thing to do. Yes, Some of us have not tasted one night before. Let it be in the church. Don't forget, when you give church, it's different from giving me. Yes, Let's be clear. When you give Alexander, there was the other day they gave 10,000 in an envelope after Thanksgiving. I said, go and ask, is it for church or for me? Go and ask. 10,000 is not my problem. When it is 1 billion, I will know whether I can be tempted. The 10,000 is not my problem. Praise the Lord. I asked, go and ask, is it for church? I gave the money back. Go and, I, I could have held it. But so I'm not tempted. Take it. Go and ask, is it for church or for me? This was recently. I'm just going to show you that, look, you may have heard stuff. Let's grow, guys. Let's grow. Let's grow. Yes, There's no testimony. We would have the same level of giving. So, if you know, now your offering regularly should be 5,000. Any opportunity. Any. 5,000. Somebody thinks you will die. 
5,000. Don't you know that anything you give, you rise above? <laughs> to give it to be like something. You are testified by now that your offering is still 500. And you know what God pays you. 2,000 in a month. Okay, plus Wednesday, 4,000 in a month. You, and you are trusting God for bigger things. I will start to inspect your offering from now. <laughs> you will think it is ordinary. And then you wonder why you are broke. You wonder why people are not liking you. You wonder why the business don't go through. Why they are insulting the office. Do you forget what I read on Sunday? Then the lies that despise me, I will lie ESD. You will be looking for respect they will give you. To give God what he gave you back. Looks like a punishment to your spirit. It's not right. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. Let's stop pretending. Finances is a very important part of our destiny. Yes, sir. Very important. And it's very simple. Because who is your source matters to who will bless you back. Are we blessed tonight? Yeah. Let's pray for our hands over this communion. Father, we thank you for this opportunity. Come up. Let's thank the Lord for his grace. I want us to pray. Our church must grow. You must become a 